Dodds. Nigel Dodds. Speaker, uh, and on an occasion like this, um, our thoughts are first and foremost with the uh, family of uh, Charles Kennedy, and especially, of course, with his young son, Donald. On the behalf of uh, my right honourable and honourable friends on these benches, we offer them all our sincerest uh, condolences. Um, their loss is uh, measurable, but I hope they find some comfort in the depth and the extent and the tone of the tributes that have been offered here today to the man they love dearly and whom the country as a whole now mourns. Um, Charles Kennedy was that rare thing. He was a professional politician from almost the start of his career, a politician to his fingertips, but he was one whom the public saw as one of their own, not someone apart from them, not someone distant from them, but someone who embodied the very point of why people vote and why they campaign and why they become passionate about causes and believe in politics. Others have charted his wit and skills as a public speaker from early youth onwards, but the man that I saw in this place stood out most of all for his sincerity and his honesty. Following the loss of the leadership of his party, to his successors there was nothing but public professional loyalty, and the party he handed on to them, the party he led to its greatest electoral heights in almost a century, was one that he left in enviably good political health. His personal tragedy was to be the victim of a terrible disease, one which whose effects are intermittent and especially cruel, in that it momentarily robs the sufferer of the ability to be himself. But the real Charles Kennedy was the man we remember today and admire and mourn. He believed utterly in the causes that he stood for without hating anyone else for believing in theirs. He approached each new day. I remember meeting him in many mornings with good-natured relish, free from any contempt for his political foes, but absolute in his convictions. And from his youth in this house to a far too premature passing, the greatest memories he leaves with me and with most of us, I suspect, are his immense warm-heartedness, his tremendous likability and his great good humour. May God bless all his loved ones and comfort them at this tragic time of bereavement. Yeah. Yeah. Mr James Gray. Um, I rise very 